Today's Miami Proud commemorates Black History Month with a focus on the desegregation of Miami-Dade schools. The U.S. Supreme Court outlawed school segregation in the 1990, pardon me, 1954 landmark Brown versus Board of Education decision. But it would take five more years until the first Miami-Dade school actually allowed black students in. And Pastor Lorenzo Johnson Sr. and his siblings were among them. And he wants to ensure that moment is not forgotten. Here's CBS 4's Elliot Rodriguez. Most important thing I can remember the bravery, uh, braveness of my mother. Lorenzo Johnson Sr. recalls the day in September 1961 when he was a third grader walking through the door at Erlington Heights Elementary School in Northwest Miami Dade. We know that we had police officers on the side and uh, watching and and we walking in and, and it felt kind of creepy at the beginning. But once we got in, you know, once we got in and stopped meeting with the kids, it was great. My mother stood tall, walking up, looking tall. She didn't look down, she looked tall. She was walking tall, and her kids, she was protecting her kids. On that day, Frances Johnson and her children became a part of history, two years after Miami-Dade's first school integrations. In 1961, there were 165,000 students in the county public school system. The first schools to be integrated were Air Base Elementary in Homestead and Orchard Villa Elementary in Liberty City. When Frances Johnson passed away in 2021, that image faded in this news clipping, but perfectly clear in her son's mind sparked an idea. I had to find, find something to make, pay tribute to her. Johnson and the school principal had a mural created memorializing his mother's bravery and encapsulating that moment for all who entered the school. I want them to think about that we all are equally inclined and we all have the equal rights for everything and all things. There's been a struggle with black folks through the years. It would take several years for all of the schools to be integrated. Today, 62 years later, Johnson stays involved, speaking to students reliving his story. And I want the black kids to realize and understand the history that we that we came, where we came from. Elliot Rodriguez, CBS 4 News. CBS 4's Miami Proud is sponsored by FPL. Learn more about Florida's energy future at fpl.com slash value.